Hello, it's John here for another quick A50 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be using a, creating a sprite sheet flipbook as an example to look at workflow between After Effects and Unreal Engine. So right now, as you can see, I'm in After Effects and I've created this little thingy majigger. What this, what I want to do with this is have it as sort of like a boost bar. So select, imagine it's on your character and you use your ability, so there's a cooldown, and then it's gonna take you know, this amount of time to come back up. So use the ability and then ability refill. And that's fairly straightforward. I'm not gonna go over the really the process of how I make that. Um, Cause what I want to talk about is actually how we can then now take this and get it into Unreal. So we've got two ways. We can use something called Sheeta, which I'm a big advocate of. And as it says here, it creates a sprite sheet. And we know sprite sheets are awesome. This right here is said sprite sheet. So I've quickly just created, like rendered and exported the sprite sheet out of it using this. And it's done this really, a really good job of sort of like packaging it all on one image. Then I can just load this into Unreal and begin like unpacking it and creating it. But as that's a premium piece of software, you've got to pay for this. What I'm gonna do is show you the less sort of efficient, nice way of doing it and do it the old fashioned way. So in After Effects, I'm going to add this to my render queue with either Control M or go to Composition. And then we need to set this up. So the settings, leave it the best settings, that's fine. And we want to go into our output module by clicking on the blue lossless text. And we're going to select our option here, which is gonna be a PNG sequence. So as we know, PNGs are really nice because we want this transparency in the background. And that's the, this is gonna be the best way to record that. So I'm gonna set this to look for that as well. Export this out, RGB and alpha. That part's the important part. Otherwise you're gonna get this with sort of this black outside. And that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Next, we want to click here and choose where we want to save it. So we just click the text. Choose where we want to save it. Let me just hit save. Oops. Once we've chosen where we want to save it, we can hit render. And it makes a beautiful, satisfying sound to let us know that that's ready. So if we look inside here, inside this folder, now I've got my previous sprite sheet I just created, but we've also got all of these individual images. And if we do that tap through them real fast, then you know it would show them in motion. And that's what that's the effect that we want to get out of Unreal. So now let's move across to Unreal. Cool, here we are. I'm inside Unreal. This is just a quick sort of template level that I've just been using. And let's import all that stuff. So in terms of organization, because we've got a lot of PNGs, I'm just going to create a new folder. So I'm gonna right click, create a new folder, and call this um, Power PNGs and hit enter on that. And so the easiest way to do this is just to select them all, drag and drop. And let Unreal do its thing. So now as you can see we brought in all of these and it thinks of them as textures. We don't want them as textures because we're not gonna be creating material out of them. We want them as sprites. So if you right click while well, they're all selected and say create sprites, it will create all the sprites. And now we've got all these sprites, we're gonna right click again, and we're going to say create flipbook. And this right here, I'll just leave the name as default, is our flipbook. Awesome. Now, while we're in here, probably should have gone over this while we're in After Effects, quick point to note, the frame playback speed is at 15 frames per second. Now, if I go back into After Effects and go back to my project and hit Control K, I've set my 
playback speed, my frame rate to 15. So let's just quickly talk about this. The reason I've set mine to 15 FPS, even though it's quite low, is because I don't want a gazillion images. I don't want a gazillion images. It's gonna be even more messy, but by all accounts, you quite easily could. You could go 60. It's not a problem, it just means this folder here is just gonna be a lot more full of images. And then by default, by follow, the Unreal folder here is gonna be even more full of images. And then again, coming back to sort of the sprite sheet, if that was at any higher than 15, I'm not gonna be able to fill those on the sprite sheet purely because my width and height are quite high. Now I could set you to 30 and tick you and go 256. So if I've half the size of my images, set them to 30, that means I can get twice the frame rate. I'm gonna scale you down, so it's a 22%. And now the frame rate's gonna be a lot higher on this. I mean, just give it a sec to set out its preview. The frame rate is a lot higher and it's a lot smoother and I could still export all of these out and have them set on the frame, same sprite sheet because in theory, I'm half the size but I'm twice the amount equals the same number, in theory. So, we've not done that, so let's just go back into After Effects because we want to work with this. And the reason at 512, it means I'm still maintaining a bit of quality and detail. Now, obviously, the smaller you go, the more sprites you can have, but the more hassle you're going to have as well. So, in terms of setting this up, like a moment, it's currently looping between all of them. I can tell it to stop looping. Or what I can do is, if I dig down, I've got 35 of these frames. If I dig down, go to my bottom one. Like I can individually tell it how long this one wants to last for. So I'll just set this to 999. Nine. Why not? So when it comes to the end, it's just going to stop on that one and stay there for basically for that time, which is a very long time. So that's cool. I'm going to save you and just pull you to the side. And let's throw this on our character. So I'm going to select my character. I'm going to open the blueprints and then I'm going to go to my viewport cool now here's my exit I'm going to add new component which is going to be a flipbook because flipbooks are what Unreal call so sprites like a sprite sequence and let's rename it to flipbook power flipbooks power and while we're in here let's reposition oops go to 90 let's move it down and let's scale it down too cool that'll do for now and we've got our options on here and let's just make sure that we've got no collision on because we don't want this to collide with anything. Our playback speed and everything should be fine. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Let's go to our event graph and I'm going to throw this on my jump. So this is just all the default stuff added, but apart from added this and on there. And once this is done, I can pull my, pull my flipbook from there or I could just right click and type in um, play from start. And now what this is gonna do is every time I press play, it's going to play from the start. And we've put the final frame to basically last for 9999. But another sort of way we can fail safe, we can check that is, we can just type in stop flipbook. You know, I'll, let me just delete you for the sake of being clean and organized and tidy, put you there. We've got that. Um, that's obviously gonna stop it straight away. That's gonna be an issue. Let's delay it. And in After Effects, how long was my 
thing, just over two seconds, so 2.1, awesome possum. All right, move you out of the way, and let's press play. Awesome, so as you can see, it sort of stopped, and it's cool. I should raise it because it's clipping with the floor a little bit, but if I jump, there we go, we've got this visual cooldown now. Jump and nice visual cooldown. You know what would have probably been even nicer? If uh, where the white is underneath. If I said that it's transparent instead of white. I know you could have seen through it. That would have been really good. And you know, p even potential like decaling that onto the floor. But no, that's cool. So what we've done is we've taken the flipbook and we've put that on our character. Probably not in the prettiest looking way ever. You know, we could potentially have it smaller on above its head, um, like as a billboard. But yes, we've taken that character as a simple sort of workflow from After Effects to Unreal. And yeah, there we go, we've done that. Like say, you could, and I would probably recommend using the Sprite Sheet Creator. To bring in your Sprite Sheets. And if we double click that, we can sort of see our Sprite Sheets in here. And we could tweak and sort of play with that and Right click and extract sprites. Let that do its thing. Yeah, that's cool by me. Leave as default. Default's normally good. And there you go, we've created all of our sprites. And it's just sort of a cleaner, more efficient way of doing things. I'm just delete those. We're not using them. It's just it's a quicker, cleaner, more efficient way of using that instead of having what we've got, which is just a folder full of textures and then a folder full of sprites. And it means if you're sort of good in After Effects and organized in After Effects, it means, like I say, you can trade off the size for the frame rate and have it all on one image, whereas this folder's sort of really messy now. I'm like hesitant to come into there and organize that. But there you go, that's sort of a quick sort of basic workflow process moving between After Effects and Unreal with your effects. So I hope you have found that useful. And if you have, as usual, please like, subscribe, comment, you know, if you're really, really generous, we've even got a Patreon you can go check out. And thanks for viewing this, guys.